Hi, welcome back to more intervals and you can see that there are all thirds here. So the notes given are A to C sharp. I would assume that it's an A major key where C sharp is really a major third. Next, we have a G to A flat, which could be a compound second or a ninth. G to A is a major ninth. G to A flat is a minor ninth. So this is the answer. Finally, we have C to G sharp, which is a fifth. Now in C major, G is a perfect fifth. And given that this is more than an octave, it's a compound perfect fifth. When we raise G to G sharp, then it will be a compound augmented fifth. Or if you add seven to this, it will be an augmented twelfth. So this is the answer. Moving on, we now have G sharp and C sharp, and we're only required to name the type of interval for this question. But it doesn't hurt if we can name the whole complete interval. So in G major scale, C is a perfect fourth. By the same logic, we raise a semitone from G to G sharp and from C to C sharp, we'll get the same distance, which is also a perfect fourth. So the answer would be perfect. The next question is a compound interval, but we still solve it with the same method nevertheless. In B major, D has a sharp. So B to D sharp, it's a major third. And if we reduce the semitone to D natural, then it will be a minor third. So it's a minor type of interval. Now, lastly, we have A to G sharp. So the interval would be a seventh. In the A major scale, G does have a sharp, so this is a major 7th. And here it is. For this question, you are required to write the note um, from the given interval. We have your E flat, and if we count the letter names on an E flat major scale, E flat F, G, A flat. So the answer would be A flat here. Next is um, an augmented seventh from B flat. So in a B flat major scale, A is a major seventh. If we are to increase the distance from a major to an augmented, then we'll have to raise A to a semitone higher, which is A sharp. Now we have a compound major sixth from F. If we count the letter name F, G, A, B flat, C, D, so a major six would be D. And remember, it's a compound interval, so write the higher octave of your D. And lastly, we have a minor tenth from F. So. 10 minus 7 is a third, so a third from F major would be A, and that's a major third. So if we are to reduce a step, then A goes down to A flat.